Before we get into the video, I would like to thank the old king who helped with the tire idea as well as doing the top path while I did the bottom path and most ability ideas for both paths. The old king's YouTube and Twitch will be in the description. So the tower idea is called the military headquarters and all upgrade names are placeholders and aren't final. Also the tower is the same size as the barracks. And the base tower, the OO, it looks like a miniature military headquarters without anything else, mostly Dark green, some black here and there. Its health is 170. The damage it does is zero. The range is six. The placement cost is 1125. Buffs are 5% fire rate and 5% range. Now, starting us off is the top path. And upgrade one is faster bullets. It gets lime stripes around the base of the headquarters, green area. Health is 220. Damage is zero. Range is six. Upgrade cost is 650. And the buffs, it gets a plus 5% fire rate. 10% total. And next is upgrade 2, better range. It gets green stripes and even more lime stripes. Health is 270, damage is 0, range is 7, upgrade cost is 1085, buffs is plus 5% range, 10% total. And next is upgrade 3, named radar. It gets a radar on top of the base. Health is 510, damage is 0, range is 7, upgrade cost is 3400. 175 buffs is plus 10 percent range 20 percent total and a passive ability that makes towers within a smaller range minus two of the current range the tower has gain the ability to detect any hidden enemies besides bosses upgrade for bigger radar replaces the radar with an even bigger one health is 900 damage is zero range is eight upgrade cost is 5785 buffs is plus 10 percent range 30 percent total and the passive of ability range is now minus one of the current tower range. And lastly is upgrade five, satellite. Replaces the entire top of HQ with the satellite and the rest of the military base is now a green and lime camel pattern. Health is 1525, damage is zero, range is 10, upgrade cost is 18k and 250, buffs is plus 10% range, 40% total, and the passive ability now makes towers able to see hidden bosses and it now gets a another ability that when activated reduces the aim time of towers by 30% for 12 seconds and has a 35 second cooldown. And now we're going to bottom path. So the first upgrade is called firepower. Uh, gains red stripes around the base of the HQ. Health is 205. Damage is 0. Range is 6. Upgrade cost is 600. And buffs are plus 5% damage. 5% total. And next up is upgrade 2. More firepower. Gains black stripes and even more red stripes. Health Health is 250, damage is 0, range is 6, upgrade cost is 1385, buffs is plus 5% damage, 10% total, and plus 5% fire rate, 10% total. Next up is upgrade 3, heavy bullets, gains a garage on the left side, the garage door is open, and John is near a box of crates, garage gets red stripes also. Health is 475, damage is 0, range is 7, upgrade cost is 3850, buffs is plus 5% damage 15% total and gains a passive ability minus two of the current range the tower has that makes towers gain ignore bullet resistance upgrade for piercing armor garage is bigger and now there are even more crates that are open showing ammo garage gets black stripes also health is 785 damage is zero range is seven upgrade cost is 8725 and the buffs are ignore bullet resistant passive ability is now minus one range of what the current tower has and gains another passive ability minus three range of what the current tower has that lets towers pierce one enemy and lastly is upgrade five warlord garage is massive and in front of the crates is a vehicle that's half built and john has a welding mask with a torch working on it the entire base is a red and black camel pattern health is 1250 damage is zero range is seven upgrade cost is 21775 buffs is plus 10 percent damage 25 percent total and the pierce ability now lets towers pierce two enemies and is now minus two range of what the current tower is but yeah that's my tower idea i would like to also thank again old king i appreciate it his twitch and youtube will be in the top of the description make sure to check him out and uh john if you somehow stumble on this video if you do leave a comment on this video i'll make sure to heart it and stuff like that and pin it and uh if you want to add this idea make sure to message me or whatever or add me and i'll make sure 
sure to send you the Google Doc that I currently have for it. But yeah, that's about it. This has been Flame Dragon, signing out. Peace.